Here we have what we call the asola, or we call them the dugweed. The dugweed because uh, most of the ducks normally like this azola, and these are uh, water plants which normally grows on the surface of the water. And uh, it is good if you incorporate the azola with fishes because they will be using the fish uh, poo which is rich in ammonia, and then they utilize that ammonia and then use them to make their food. So. This one, uh, we normally use these uh, trays with the holes to harvest the azola because uh, you don't need uh, to harvest uh, azola with water, so we allow them to uh, sit like this, so we are harvesting. So in azola, uh, they normally multiply almost four times a week, ten times a week. And that is why what they only need is manure. What you'll do is uh, put the manure in the sack and then you put them inside like this one it is a match with a system of a stone I hope it is visible so we have the sack inside which contain the animal manure the cow manure we try cow manure so we have in each of the every trees a sack full of tri manure and then with this one only what you do is uh, you reduce them at first and then you allow them to continue multiplying. So the first thing is only you introduce in the azola and then you let the nature take its own course. They will multiply on their own will. You've invested heavily in the uh, azola. Yeah, and for your information, this one we were using the recycle waste uh, tanks, mm -hmm. and that some also we build using the plastic bags, uh, like this one, whereby we are using the uh, old uh, the iron sheet as well as the bond liner. So we use the iron sheet as well as the bond liner, and we have the asola in different tanks. We have also two types of asola. We have the big leaf mm -hmm. and then also the small leaf asola. That one has the small leaves, mm -hmm. and this one has for the big leaves. This this other one. So we have two varieties. That one, and then also this main one. So this the azola. We also call it duckweed. Oh, you've seen. You can see now they've eaten all the BSF which I put inside here. So this now the azola, uh, you can see, so they are now eating the azola, yeah. So that is why we say we have different sources of food for the poultry. Yeah, and yeah. all, the, all so of them are <coughs> very rich in uh, protein and protein. Uh, yeah. other minerals. Yeah. So this is the cheap way of producing feed for the poultry. This is the organic, this is the organic feed to supplement the food which uh, you should have uh, bought from the shop. And then also to save you from spending money in buying the uh, poultry feed most of the time. So you can, uh, you can grow your own food for feeding your poultry. It is very cheap. And economical so it is now your decision to see if you can produce your own you know how the prices have skyrocketed and then you know uh, now how to produce the PSF as well as also growing the azola if you see the BSF being very expensive to start then you can start with the azola because you start a small amount put them in water and then they multiply uh, within no time 